Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. So in this video, I'm going to explain on how to create a virtual machine in AWS cloud, right? So if you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to the channel and hit the like button. Okay, so let's dive right into AWS console. So this is my AWS console. So right now I am in my EC2 console page, EC2 page. So if you do not know how to navigate to this page, please go to this global search bar and search for EC2, EC2. So if you see, this is the one virtual servers in cloud, right? So you can click on this one. So there are many options available here. Right now, if you see, I have zero instances running. So let's create a new instance. Okay. So let's get into instances. Right now, if you see, there are no instances running. Let's create a new instance. To do that, you have a uh, button here called launch instance. Click on that. So you need to provide some basic details here to create a virtual machine we will go one by one all right so first you need to provide a name to the virtual machine so let's give a name to this one so as this is my first ec2 instance i'll give my ec2 instance all right so you can give any name but i am giving with my ec2 instance right so after giving that you need to provide a sub you need to provide the operating system that is called as Am Amazon machine image or else uh, you can consider that as uh, an operating system on top of that they have installed some softwares right so basically these are the operating systems that we have uh, Amazon Linux this is a Linux based you know operating system that AWS themselves developed Mac OS Ubuntu Windows Red Hat no, Suze and we have Debian all there are uh, some more additional AMIs that are there so you can also create your own AMI that is Amazon machine image uh, we will I will walk you through that in the future videos but right now let us go with Amazon Linux okay so just select that one and that is available as a free tier right so if you see here it is giving that free tier eligible so you need to select the one that are freely available to you all right so i'll go with free tier eligible okay so after that you need to make sure which architecture you are you going to use and this is the ami id of this uh, ami that we selected i'm going with 64 bit architecture and this is a verified provider so we are okay with that Okay. so next thing that we need to select is the instance type that means basically you need to provide how many virtual cpus that you want and how much memory do you want okay so there are many different options available all right so here also you need to make sure that you select only free tier eligible else you are going to pay from your hand right so if you see there are multiple uh, options that you can select if you see if you go with z1d 12x large you are getting 48 vcpus along with 384 gb of memory so that is pretty huge right so for us uh, as we are get just starting off i'll go with free tier eligible t2.micro or you can also go with t1.micro so i'll go with t2.micro okay select that one you need to make sure the uh, right a instance type is selected here all right so the next one is key pair basically you can use key pair to connect to the instance you need to prove that in to prove to that instance saying that you are the right person who is logging in just like we use username and password for logging into facebook instagram linkedin right so in the same way you we need to prove to that server saying that we are the right person accessing that server for that you sh should create something called as key pair all right so if you do not have a key pair you can directly click on this and provide the name and uh, you provide what type of uh, uh, rsa or ed 255 119 encrypted algorithm so whichever algorithm you want you can select but most of the time we go with rsa and what is the format 
basically if you are u- using putty to log into this virtual machine go with ppk else you go with pem so you just need to give your name here and select what is the private key file format that you want and create key pair so when you hit create key pair automatically this key pair will be downloaded to your local machine so please don't forget or please don't forget the path where you have stored that key pair because we need that to log into that machine okay so i right now i have a, a key pair already that i have created this is the one i'll go with the same thing okay i'll just select that one next thing that we need to provide is the networking settings we have many options to select here but right now let us keep simple as we are just getting started so this virtual machine where should be where should it be created so in which network you need to host this one so basically i am going with the default option that is available here this is the default vpc so it is creating this uh, instance in this particular vpc okay so if you want to change it you have an edit option here if you click on that you can select other vpcs that you want and you can do it also okay but right now i do not have any uh, you know uh, other vpcs created so i'll go with the default option okay next thing so rest of the things leave that as it is we are going to walk through uh, in the future lessons but right now just go with these options okay security group for all the linux based ma- machines it is recommended to open ssh port that is port number 22 because that is the port number used to log into that machine okay so allow ssh port and then click on so next is you have storage whether you are going with uh, you know 8 gb so if you want you can increase it here if you want to uh, change the uh, uh, you know uh, storage type you can do that right now it is general purpose too so i'll go with the same option and we also have advanced details right now we are not going to touch these options because these are very complicated terminologies we will look at them as and when we progress all right so after that just click on launch instance this should take at least 2 minutes to create your virtual machine or ec2 instance then you will be good to log into that machine now if i click on view instances if you see the instance state is pending right so this is the name of the instance that we provided and this is the instance id and after few minutes this instance state will turn to running state that means you have successfully created a virtual machine right so that's it for today in the next video i will walk you through how to connect to this instance in the next coming videos all right so thank you for watching please subscribe to the channel and like the video and comment what videos you want to see next all right so thank you